Your money in Colorado Springs, Mayor John Southers plans to expand the city's police and fire services as our community continues to grow. The mayor's office released his 2023 budget proposal today. News 5's Andy Cohen joins us live tonight with a closer look at what the city is anticipating next year. Andy. Yeah, the city's planning to hire 32 new firefighters to help staff new fire stations that are going to be built in the next year, including Station 24, which will be built up here on the northeast side of town. And the fire, uh, excuse me, the police department budget would also grow by about $900,000, and that money would help to hire an additional 15 officers and buy vehicles for some new officers who were hired earlier this year. Sales tax revenue is projected to finish the year up by about 13 percent, and the city's chief financial officer told reporters today they're expecting revenue to keep growing next year. We are still seeing increases in our sales tax, in part due to inflation. We expect that to continue uh, through 2023, but at a more modest rate. And while inflation continues to be, I mean, higher revenue, it also means higher costs. For example, funding for Mountain Metro Transit in this budget would grow by more than a million dollars, primarily to address higher costs associated with the bus service. The city's park system and public works departments would also hire new employees next year, uh, additional employees to help manage a growing workload. Now, this is just the first step in a budget process before approval, which usually happens in December. Uh, the city council is going to have their first budget budget hearing where they're going to have a presentation on what's in this budget in their work session in two weeks. Then a week after that, there will be a town hall meeting where the public is invited and come to provide some feedback to their elected officials. Reporting live in Colorado Springs, Andy Cohen, News 5. Andy, thank you.